Hey ladies, so today we are going to do a color retouch. Look at this hair. It's sad, but since I'm about to put some color on it, it's about to be glad. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let me get that out. But um, yes, it's been a long time. It's been like at least four or five months without me redoing my color. So we're going to use Adore today, um, Raging Red. And I just did this color just because it's probably like the brightest one that'll like show up on my hair because my hair isn't bleached, um, like bright, bright. So it'll show like a good burgundy, a cute burgundy, but bright enough to know that it's red. Like nobody about to be coming up to me trying to play with me acting like y'all don't know what color my hair is. Okay. Sorry, this is a trigger warning. I did not use gloves because we just moved and I did not have any of that out. Um, I'm just trying to get it how I live. Thanksgiving is around the corner and, you know, I'm trying to give looks. By the time Thanksgiving comes, my hands will be back to regular color. <laughs> so, anyways, we just start. Before I put the color on, though, make sure that your hair is damp. It helps to spread the color easier. And it helps to saturate more. So just make sure that you dampen your hair a little bit before you put the color on and you're good to go.
Okay, so this is how it all looked, color and retouch. Um, I went ahead and washed it with Also oh Clean by On Jackie's. Um, it's a moisturizing and softening shampoo. It helps a lot with color and just making sure that your locks are moisturized. Um, at the end, just to seal in my moisture, I'm gonna use avocado. It helps with luster and um, just to keep them shiny and just kind of looking healthy. For me, more so, I like to concentrate on um, moisturizing my ends and oiling my ends because your scalp, like I always say, produces its own oils. The only reason why it gets dry is because if you're, the ends of your hair is dry, it kind of like takes the oil from the roots to try to moisturize everything. So, like, kind of make sure that your ends are good to go and dry. I mean, not dry, but damp before you put the oil on. Okay, Lainey, so it's that time now. We ready to style. Um, I actually was able to get a lock inspiration by one of my lock queens, and this is her look. And my hair in so long years, okay? But I just did this in like 10 minutes. Period. She looking cute. I will post her Instagram information at the bottom just so that you guys can, you know, get full more, more insight on just how she wears her hair and everything. So, um, I tried to, I attempted to try to curl it beforehand. That was a complete fail, a complete bust, and somebody should have knocked me out for that. Anyway, so I'm going to just start by taking little small sections on the side. Also, before um, I start twisting and letting y'all know, I'm going upwards because I do want that high ponytail that she had. So, I'm going to take it and then kind of like position them towards the top of my head like a crown. Don't twist your hair tight. I'm still coming up off of a fresh interlock. So, you can see my scalp a little bit better. That's why I'm like, well, let me hear if you do this hairstyle. Um, it'll be perfect for Thanksgiving, you know, so I can stun on everybody at the Thanksgiving dinner. You know, they're going to be like, okay, anyways, I'm not even about to start that. But just know.
I always use the, the wire rubber bands, so I'm just going to wrap it around one time, and that'll help me to do the fan type of look at the top of my hair and to help it stand up just a little bit. You want to put it as far down to the base as you possibly can and just kind of fan your hair out at the top. Now, to help my um, hair stand up at the beginning, I did kind of pull my locks at the front just to give it a little more stand-up-ish type of look. I didn't get to do it on camera because I really didn't realize it until afterwards, but... When you see the after, that's what I did. I kind of, like, I can't really explain to y'all, but, like, I was, like, pulling. It's not tight, but I was, okay, well, I guess I did do it on, on here. Okay. That's what I did. <laughs> so, um, I also went ahead and added some jewelry. Um, I did my makeup. And this is basically the finished look. I really do like this. And I'm really happy that she went ahead and gave me a little secret little sauce for y'all. Yeah, look at it. Check me out. Boom, bam. They about to be hating on your good sis. <laughs> okay, now hold on, y'all. I got to do the test. Hey, is this turkey or is this Oh, my God, I love your Thank hair. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. What is that? It is. Yeah, my girl. Okay. okay. But anyway, I love you. So, you said rose and... Okay. Perfect. Okay. Mm, it's better to be Girl, I love that hair. <laughs> that is just so cute. Girl, I want to get my hair like that. <laughs> oh, thank mm, you. So Perfect. 